My name is Rudy Tovar. Two years ago, I weighed over 600 pounds and was told I had less than a 10% chance to survive. This is my fitness journey. Rudy, are you ready for this? I'm ready. I met Rudy in 2022 when I went to the most obese city in America, McAllen, Texas. When we first met, he was bedridden and things were not looking good. Thankfully, after being inspired by the love and support that you guys left him in the comments, he decided enough was enough and ventured on his weight loss journey where he lost 275 pounds in just nine months. One year later, we met at my bodybuilding competition where I gave him a new goal. The next 100 pounds, if you document it, I'm gonna give you $5,000 and I'm also gonna help you to make that happen. I hired a trainer for him as well as a videographer to document all of his progress. What you're about to see is Rudy's journey of 120 days of fitness. We're here at Pendleton Park in Harlingen. We're going to be doing basically a baseline to see how long it takes me to finish a mile. Then after that, we're going to do some push-ups. And then when we hit the end of this challenge, we'll see how much improvement I've made. All right, let's go. My name is Brandon Harper. I'm a registered dietitian and personal trainer. Rudy, we're just gonna start start off slow, get a feel for where he's at. To be honest, I haven't quite fallen in love with working out. It's uncomfortable. And I'm pretty sore the next day. 11, 12. And sometimes I get frustrated with myself if I can't do something. Let's go. Let's go, Rudy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 19. Go one more. Go one more. No? All right. All right. Time is 26, 27. Cool. All right. So that'll be your baseline. Not a bad start by any means, but I know he can be better by day 120. Sorry, it's not too bad. So hopefully it'll improve a little bit. So the more we go. So now that we have the performance baseline, we need to get his measurement baseline. Rudy's starting weight was 380 pounds with a 58 inch waist. And we'd be tracking his metrics over time. Rudy's committing to two workouts per week. This may not sound like a lot, but it's critical to prevent overtraining. First week is all about establishing good habits and building some good momentum. Hi, right, Rudy. I got someone that wants to say something to you. How you doing? I'm good. How, how are you? Good. Uh, we just finished our first workout, so... How'd it go? I sweated, definitely. <laughs> the golf from Jesse meant a lot. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of people in my life that I feel truly care about what I'm trying to accomplish. My mom, dad, sister, and brother have all passed. I want to say good luck on the transformation and the challenge. I'm proud of you. And always stay relentless. We know the slogan. I know you live by it. Yes, sir. So having Jesse check in on me from time to time does give me a boost when I need it. Will do. Proud of you. Thank you, thank you. Talk to you. Later. He's gonna crush this. The hardest part about anyone's fitness journey is just getting started. There's a lot to learn all at once if you wanna make some serious progress. All right, so we're gonna head over to All Star Nutrition so I can do my monthly weigh-in, hoping that I haven't gained, if I have, that too much, and preferably muscle over fat. We care all about body composition. And from 106.5, we went up to 114.9. So that's an insane amount of muscle mass you put on. So super good job on that. Awesome. And then body fat percentage from 45.9, went down to 43.2. So we're losing body fat, gaining muscle. Diet's definitely the hardest variable. It's insane that how we eat is so habitual. And you're trying to change habits that you've had since you were a kid. I think tracking calories has been a good tool for me, and I would recommend it to people who are starting out with weight loss. Coming back down. So hopefully we'll keep trending back down. Okay. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. That's right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. That's right. Over the next six weeks, Rudy was dialed in. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 
he's getting objectively stronger on all of his exercises. His weight was going down at a steady rate. And I made sure to keep track of all the progress. So right now Rudy is down about 15 pounds and he's being more consistent than he ever has been. I'm just so excited to see what he's gonna look like on day 120. The biggest thing for staying motivated is having objective signs of progress. So I bought this at the beginning of December. Normally I wear t-shirts that are 3X, 2X. I wanted to have the next size down so I could know if I'm actually losing weight or if I'm gaining, things like that. So where I can go, okay. So I started off here and now I'm here. I'm down a size, something that I've been hoping we'd hit. And I can say I did that. Do you see any progress yet? Yeah, I see a lot of progress. The mindset shift, which is the most important thing. We want him to be in the right mindset. Brandon could see that Rudy's love for exercising is starting to grow. And when you see someone putting in effort, you want to do everything you can to encourage it. So what Brandon did around day 60 was pretty cool. So I got you a little something. So you're getting a little, a little homework to take home. So getting the weight set from Brandon uh, truly means a lot. Bar. 10s, 15s, 25s, so you can keep it going at home, so. I feel blessed that he's supporting me in every way that he can. It'll be fun uh, trying to take that up to the apartment later, <laughs> Jay. And I look forward to getting a nice arm pump whenever I feel like it. You got a nice strong cameraman right here to help you out. Yeah, I've seen your Instagram. I know you can lift some of that. <laughs> So Rudy has been texting me and saying that he's been struggling with sticking to high protein lean meals and overall just kind of having a hard time to hit his macros. So I decided to send him an entire care package of Flex Pro meals. I'm hoping that this can just take away any sort of thought of what to eat or, oh, if he doesn't have any food in the house, it's just super simple. You heat it up in the microwave. In minutes, we've got a macro friendly meal. Mmm. Wow, Rudy really can't get sick of any meals because he has all different options and all different flavors. And they're all healthy and macro friendly. I placed this order for Rudy on a Wednesday and it got there within one day. If you order between Monday and Thursday and business hours, you will get your orders the following day, which is unheard of for a meal delivery service. FlexPro Meals makes it super easy to change your needs. It's easy to alter your meal plan and just make simple changes. That way you can stay on target while also enjoying your food. So if you guys are interested in getting Flex Pro Meals for yourself. If you use code JESSE in the first link in the description, you will get 40% off on your first order. It'll support me directly and also support Rudy in his journey. So make sure you guys use that code and go check it out. Yeah, I mean, everything looked like it was on schedule. Rudy said by the end of the 120 days that his goal was to be weighing around 350 pounds. And it looks like we're on track to do so. Rudy, how you doing, bro? Good, workouts are uh, going pretty well. Diets getting a little easier, can't really complain. Listen, you're doing great so far. Just keep pushing, keep pushing boundaries. You got this, I'll talk to you later. However, around day 65, we started to run into a problem. Yeah. So like right now it still says you went up even from the last time, yeah. but we're gonna wait to see till next Tuesday to see how you respond to your medication first. So I'm currently on medication for edema, which is where water gets trapped under the tissue. And for some reason it doesn't seem to be working. In fact, I seem to be going backwards. I'm hoping to see some kind of weight drop from Last week, because I've been on the medication every day. It's a little higher than last time. <sighs> Are you doing like anything different that you can play six? Did you move around less yesterday, no? My biggest concern was just how is this gonna affect Rudy's confidence for the remainder of this challenge? All right then. You good? Bye -bye. It definitely leads to a lack of confidence. One more. Slow, let it down slow, 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 slow. You're trying your best, you're following the diet and the training, and to have something like this come up, it feels like, what's the point? And then you start getting negative comments from people. Can you give us an example? There was one person I interacted with like uh, about a week or so ago. They asked if I was still doing the uh, exercises and I was like, yeah, working on my diet and all that. It's like, oh, okay, because yeah, it doesn't really look like uh, it's been any change lately. Rudy, how are you doing mentally right now? I uh, just feel like nothing's working. Uh, you know, like part of me is asking myself, do I even want to continue this at all? Like, honestly, I don't know. 
Okay. It was clear that I needed to do something and Rudy just needed some sort of catalyst. So for the next few days, I looked around for something that could motivate him. So right now I'm looking up some events or resources to get Rudy motivated and really excited about this journey once again. But most importantly, get his mind off of his edema. And I found it. I didn't tell Rudy anything but to pack his bags and get on his way because ladies and gentlemen, we're going to Fit, Fit Farm. You ready? This is about as ready as I'm gonna get. Let's make some gains, baby. For the next few days, Rudy and I were able to eat and train together. To show Rudy how far he's come, I wanted him to get a body scan. That way he could see all the progress that he's made. And thankfully, a lot of the water weight that he's been holding is gone. All right, 358. Rudy's made some outstanding progress within a year. And in another six months, it's gonna be even more insane. As well, I wanted to see what his push-ups and mile time were at, just to show him that at one point, he couldn't even get out of bed. And there was just so much to be proud of right now. Almost done, baby. <laughs> How does it feel that they're all cheering you on? It's nice. Six, seven, make sure you're breathing. Yeah, Rudy. 21, 26, Rudy. Let's go. Great job, Rudy. That's go. I could see that his confidence had done a complete 180. He pushed himself so hard and never complained about being tired. Rudy had gone through a setback, but was going to keep fighting. Being able to train with Jesse for a few days and see people who have been in a similar situation as myself push themselves, it was very inspiring and lit a fire under me where I know that I can do this and I will do this. Towards the end of our weekend together, I asked him what his mantra was and he said this. Stay relentless, but then I also think of it as stay relentless to become indomitable. Oh. Do you know what indomitable is? No, what does it mean? Cannot be defeated. Yo. I knew the rebuild was coming. Rudy was coming back with a vengeance. The weight was dropping closer to his goal. He was pushing himself every session and even started including boxing into his training for extra cardio. There we go. Park your left, park your left. At one point though, we thought Rudy's weight had plateaued again because it just didn't budge for a bit. But after getting a scan, there was a very good reason for this. From last month, I'm down to 357. I just gotta keep going and hopefully break that 350 mark. What Rudy was experiencing was a body recomposition. This is basically where you're replacing all the fat that you have with new muscle tissue. This meant that the overall weight change wasn't very different, but the ratio of fat to muscle is much better. I didn't know a body recomp was the thing, but getting my scans and seeing how much muscle I built made me really happy. So watch out, Jesse, you might have some competition at your next show. Right now, the goal is not to just focus on Rudy losing 100 pounds. We'll get there in time, but for now, if Rudy can lose 30 pounds in just four months, that is a massive win. The positive changes did not stop there. Rudy was even taking cooking classes to learn how to make healthier meals for himself. It's important for me to do stuff like a cooking class. I don't wanna to be told what to do for my health. I want to learn what to do. That way I can be independent and help others if needed. I'm just so proud of all the trials that Rudy has overcome. You know this challenge has not been easy and there's been a lot of ups and downs. I think for Rudy, having such a strong why was very important. So it's been 10 years since my mom and my sister passed away and I miss them a lot and it's definitely hard not to have them here. All of that from Fit Farm to seeing my old friends who have supported me at my lowest. And this challenge isn't just for me, it's for the people that have supported me and my family. And it's like Rocky said, it's not about how hard you get hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward, how much you can take and keep moving forward. To finish the challenge, I wanted to be there with him. I wanted to see how far Rudy has come in 120 days. So I asked him to come down to Baltimore to do his final measurements and final fitness test. Rudy, baby, how crazy is it that you're here now? Mind blowing. I'm so proud of what you've done, what you've accomplished and where you are. Thank you. Because it is astonishing to see where you were and where you are now. We've got to celebrate by getting one last workout in. We got Gorilla Mind, what's the code? Go Jesse. You four. guys know it, 10% off baby, let's go. We're gonna work out in my home gym. We're gonna have our last celebratory lift. Now this isn't a lift that you're gonna go crazy on, this is a lift that we're just gonna have a good time, okay? Okay. It's crazy how after 119 days, I'd be flying up to see Jesse and finish the challenge. You know, we first met with him coming to my house and seeing me at my lowest. Now I'm at his house getting ready to be my best. Talk about full circle moment. Rudy, all the hard work is done. 
All you have to do is show up, give it your all tomorrow, and have fun. And I promise you, it's gonna be a good day, good results, for a good cause, okay? All right, you got this. I'll see you in the morning, okay? All right. Day 120, Rudy, you have made it. Yeah. The job is basically done. We got a few tests, we got push-ups, okay. your measurement, your weight, and a mile. And I have a very big surprise for the end of this, okay? For the first test, we have push-ups. All right, you got 60 seconds in three, two, one, begin. Go, come on, Rudy, one, two, three. There you go. On day one, Rudy can only complete 19 reps, and that's with no time limit. 25, keep pushing, do not give up. 26, come on, Rudy, 30. Come on, keep going, Rudy, come on. 31, get one more, get one more. 31, there we go, 31 full reps. Let's go, baby, Rudy, 31. So up next, Rudy is going to be measured around the waist. He's been getting measured for the past 120 days. On day one, Rudy had a 58 inch waist and on the final day, oh my gosh, Rudy. We have 49 inches. That's right, in only 120 days, Rudy lost nine inches off his waist, crazy. So you started at around 65 to 68 inches because you were wearing 6X clothes and now you're at a 2X, 1X? Uh, I'm wearing t-shirt wise, I, I can wear a 1X. Pants wise, I'm doing 3X. That's a massive change. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. And up next, we had his weigh-in. He started off the challenge at 380 pounds. He started off this weight loss journey at 630 pounds. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, three, two, one. How much does Rudy weigh? 357 pounds, Rudy. How do you feel? Not bad. You've also gained a ton of muscle, so I think that's really important for people to realize that when you are heavier and you're losing weight and you're also training and lifting weights, you're not just gonna drop weight. That's why we measured the inches. Rudy has lost nine inches since starting this challenge and 23 pounds. So I would say that that's a win. Let's go, baby. Okay, but we're not done here. We've got one more challenge and it's not here. Okay. I'm oh. wearing a shirt though, I assure you. That's fine, you can wear a shirt. Right. It is in public. Okay. <laughs> Rudy, you're probably wondering why the heck we are in Philadelphia. Because it's very cold. Listen, the show must go on, rain or shine, it doesn't matter, because guess what? Guess where Rocky was filmed? Philadelphia. Philadelphia, baby! You said it best. All right, today's your Rocky moment. You've got to go one mile. We are going to be running all the way to the famous Rocky steps. Okay. When you get to the first step, you have finished and completed it. Go have your Rocky moment. It's going to be a fun time. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Think about why you've done this. Think about who you do this for. Everyone watching that's gonna be inspired by this. This is the moment that you've been waiting for, okay? You've gone through hell to get here. To prove that it's possible to get to the other side. Three, two, one, go. Come on, Rudy, let's go, let's go, come on. All of the hard work is done. 120 days of fitness, that was the hard part. Yeah. Now you just go, it's game day, baby. Just put on a show. You are Rocky Balboa today. Good, we're doing good. Come on, Rudy. Let's keep going, okay? Let's keep going. Let's push, one more light, that's all you gotta get to. And then you can walk. When he started this challenge, he walked this at 26 minutes and about 27 seconds. You just keep going, okay? Do your thing. We're officially at the halfway point. Let's start running, Rudy. Come on, come on. If we keep moving at this, we're at 16 minutes, all right? Remember why you're doing this. You're transforming lives. You're transforming your own life. A year and a half ago, Rudy could not even jog, walk, or get out of bed. Now he's running. If that doesn't motivate you, I don't know what is. Come on, we have to go to the front of the stairs, front of the stairs, front of the stairs. You got 30 more feet. You can run, you can run. Three, two, one, get on the stairs. 15, 36, baby. If that does not motivate you, I don't know what does. Rudy. You come up to the top of the stairs, okay? I'm gonna go up there. So the original plan was to give Rudy $5,000 for completing this challenge. I wanted to reward him for the effort that he'd put into this and be able to fund more resources to help him on his journey. For the last 120 days with hiring a videographer and a trainer, I wanted to give Rudy every opportunity to succeed. Ooh. Stairs are tonight. 
All I can say is that when Rudy reached the top of those stairs, his reaction made everything worth it. Rudy, 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 Rudy. All right, let's go, baby! Give me a fucking hug. One more. Give me a hug. You did it. You have no idea how proud of you I am, dude. Uh, listen, I made a promise to you, and I made a bet to you at the beginning of this challenge that I was going to give you $5,000. But Rudy, we're going to award you with $10,000, the courtesy of myself and Young LA, also a year's worth of Gorilla Mind energy drinks. Gorilla Mind is contributing that in an LED mini fridge. Okay, right on. 10 f***ing grand. You completed the challenge. You deserve it, Rudy. What do you got to say? Hey, Ma, I did it. Let's go, baby. Give me a hug. Appreciate you, bro. I love you, man. You can do whatever you put your mind to. Surround yourself with good support systems and put in the work. Oh, and don't forget to stay relentless so you can become dominant.